And then the main event was a fantastic match, MGF and Sammy Guevara. And it started out with this great chain wrestling and cradle sequence. And then Guevara just attacks him and they start brawling all over the place. And they had some crazy spots. Uh, there was a uh, big springboard. I don't even. I, it was a flip dive, but it was just Sammy just spinning every which way over the barricade into the audience, hitting a chair, that, hitting that, MJF. That that was, w- that was crazy. It was that, nuts. I mean, you have to be one incredible athlete to pull this up. Sam, I thought Sammy Guevara tonight was incredible. I mean, just everything that he did. Um, yeah, I just I just thought like. You know, if he's going to lose, at least he looked incredible losing. Um, but I'm watching this, you know, watching him do this, and I go, man, this really is the week to put him over. The people will go freaking insane. I mean, it I mean, it would legitimately, if he would have gone over, been, you know, a match of the year contender. And then it meant maybe in your mind it still is, because this was, this was one of the best matches in the history of the promotion. It was, I mean, it was so good. We had a brawl at the top, and then uh, MJF grabs him and gives him a middle rope tombstone pile driver, which oh, Sammy that's... kicked out of. And then we had a 630 that MJF kicked out of. And then finally, Sean Spears comes out, and Jericho says, I'm not, he's doing commentary. I'm not going to let this happen. So he runs down to go after Sean Spears. Wardlow attacks Jericho. Wardlow throws him off this platform to the ground. Jericho's selling it like he's, he's seriously injured. And as the referee's distracted, Sean Spears hits Guevara with a chair. MJF crawls over, and he gets the pin. So MJF gets the win here. Which uh, I guess we're doing that match with Jericho. Yep. Sometime fairly soon. Uh, I would if you got I the would, win here. I would think. Uh, yeah, I mean, before like they have to peak September fifteenth and twenty second, but it feels like uh, this match would probably come a little before that. But because um, I mean, they need something big up their sleeves for for especially September twenty second because, but really for both shows. Um, that's going to be, you know, they've got a, well, I mean, they actually that period, I mean, obviously you get the pay-per-view too, but they have got to book themselves where they are on fire with big matches from really that Wednesday before, um, I mean, the Wednesday before, I guess, can be like a go-home show and the Friday can be sort of a go-home show as well. The pay-per-view's got to be loaded and will be, and then they got to, they've got to like in that pay-per-view. With like, like not just like the you know often when they're on the pay per view they'll kind of have like one match that's real big that'll be on the TV maybe a week or two later, but they're gonna have to come after add that pay per view with like four or five matches because they got to do big shows on the fifteenth and the twenty second. And then the end of the show was a video package where they basically took you through. The last year and change of the pandemic and all of the things that had happened at Daly's Place and all of the memories. This, I mean, Brody Lee, all of the stadium stampede, the the, the title changes, everything. The original uh, speech, week one, with Cody and Kenny Omega. And then, you know, the turns. And when you look at it, you know, the I mean, the Brody Lee stuff obviously was, you know, incredible but then all those crazy moves the both stadium stampedes um you know the just it's really amazing um you know how much really good stuff there there was over that but i mean yeah it was like farewell to the it's like the end of the era you know i mean the era that that could have killed the company Easily, easily killed the company. It was actually so amazing because it was like, I'm so happy that everything is returning to normal. I, I'm so overjoyed, and it was such a horrible uh, year plus. But somehow they made this video where you were almost sad that it was ending. It was like, it was incredible the way that they put it together. I can't say I was sad it was ending, but I was sad when it was, it was a really moving video. I mean, in the sense, I think it's just there was really a lot of great stuff. Um, it's just an era, you know. It's just like 
it's it's an era that thank god it's over but it's an era you know like it's look this year really was you know going to be when you look back on it you know not just in AEW um but it's it's going to be like of all the years I've been on this earth I mean it's probably among the most memorable and in everyone's case among the most memorable and it's just it is what it is I mean there was it was a lot of bad um a lot of divisive you know I mean it was just a you know it was a it was a for me it was like an absolutely horrible year I mean like if I think back I mean it actually boggles my mind because I'm I just don't dwell on it um because if I think back it was like an absolutely ungodly horrible year but um there was good entertainment and they did you know um you know I mean everything from like you know some people you know you're, you're not going to like everything but even like the the Jericho bump into the mimosa and uh, Matt Jackson moonsault off the goalpost and that insane one wing angel idea, the whole first stadium stampede and, um, you know, the Matt Hardy stuff with Sammy Guevara where they nearly killed each other every time out. You know, they just were jinxed each other to death, nearly to death. Um, and just like um, world title change, heel turns, um yeah, what a what a amazing what a, I I love that video package. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The twelve to eighteen new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.